after. Oh, and okay. A, you stay in both times. And then with B, on a 0, you went to E. And on a 1, you went to D, so you stayed in. And I think C is the same way, except it goes to F. And D stays in both times. And E and F just stay in, so they stay accepting. So then you redraw this little thing. And this time you regroup by what's alike. So A and D are alike. And then since both B and C go to this group on, their, on 0 and stay in that group on a 1, they get their own new group. Uh, now this time A goes to B on a 1 and to, or B on a 0 and C on a 1. And D just goes to itself. So it stays in that group. B and C both go to D on a 0. And they go to various ex except states on a 1. E and F stay there. Uh, and then you draw it one more time, in this case. Yeah, just A and D get separated. So basically, whenever you get down to one state in any group, you know you're done. You can't split the group up anymore. And as long as everything in a group is doing the same thing, uh, really you should go through again and make sure that this splitting these two doesn't split anything else up. So, yeah, but it's... Right. If you do it one you more the time, same just to make states. sure that nothing changes, yeah. then you're stable. Then you've reached yeah. a fixed point. Yeah. So you're stable when you either have all one group, all groups of one element, or when everything just stays the same. Good. That's a very good way. Thank you. <laughs> She's brave, huh? <laughs> I don't have red hair. That's the thing. <laughs> Oh, I do. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. That's really good. Uh, this actually is a super alternative, and it's very intuitive. The idea is that these classes are getting refined. They start really big, and you break them apart into the smallest pieces you can. But what's really good about this is that this is the basis for the solution to the triple extra credit that I gave you on the problem set. On the problem set, I say, this takes n squared time, and there's a way to do it in n log n. Okay, Now, there's no way to fix this to be n log n in any obvious way, because the graph itself has n squared nodes. Just touching it takes n squared time. You can't do anything in n log n with it. So you've got to have a completely different point of view to make it n log n. And this is the basis for that other point of view. The idea is not to actually store pairs of things explicitly, but store things as groups of partitions and then refine the partition. And then the issue is, which, which one do you work on next? You've got to work on the one of the right size next. It, it's not obvious how to make it n log n, but this has potential to be made n log n, and this really doesn't. Okay. Uh, at the same time, this is the one that's usually that's shown in the hopcroft ullman textbook. And this is the improved version that uh, I think it's by a paper by Hopcroft and Ullman uh, showing that it can be done in n log n. So you can see both by the same people. You could actually look up that paper if you wanted to go read the solution to that problem. It's really a hard thing. If you figure it out on your own, great. Super. Thanks. That's a very different way, and it's a good way. OK, I have another example that I think is really illustrative, but I think I've done enough. And I'm bored of doing these examples. You probably are too. So I'll have Dimitri kind of review this example, because I think it's illustrative, and I want you to see a lot of backtracking. In the example, the last example, you can see backtracking that really goes a long way. Uh, but for now, I want to switch gears and talk about something else for the rest of the day. What questions? can we answer about finite state machines, about regular sets? What questions can we answer about regular sets? Sometimes this is called decision algorithms. It's really just 
algorithms that answer yes or no, but the inputs are actually binary strings that represent finite state machines. So I give you a finite state machine, and I might ask you, does it accept an infinite number of things? I give you a finite state machine, and I might ask you, uh, does this finite state machine accept any string of length 10? I give you a finite state, two finite state machines, and I ask you, do these accept the same language? I give you two finite state machines, and I ask you, do they have anything in common that they accept? These are all questions about finite state machines. Questions that you would write an algorithm for, a program for, and the input to the program is a finite state machine. Maybe the most obvious question you might want to ask about a finite state machine, and the one that's done most commonly with a program is, here's a finite state machine, here's an input string to the finite state machine, does it accept that input string, yes or no? Okay, there are, you could write a program for this. If, a beginner in computing class can write a program for this. You can set up a little array. There's a lot of ways to do it. There's a built-in utility in Unix that does this. Uh, it's called Lex. You basically describe your finite state machine, you give it a string, and it tells you whether it accepts it or not. It does a little more than that, too. Dimitri's going to talk a little bit about that Unix utility. So the answer is, what questions can we answer about finite state machines? Almost everything. I'd say everything. There's hardly anything. Nothing you can't answer. You can say everything. All right, so let's do a couple. Let's do a couple. Let's do uh, number one is the membership question. I'll say what that is in English. It's one of the ones I mentioned just a second ago. You're given a finite state machine. You're given a string x. Is x generated by that finite state machine? Okay. Is x in L, where L is a regular set? So you're given two things, the finite state machine and the string. Does the finite state machine accept the string? How do you write an algorithm to do this? Just describe it to me. What would you do? Set the machine up and run it through. OK, so how do you set the machine up? You, you need some kind of data structure. What do you use? OK, you could use a graph. You could also use a, um, a, some kind of multi-valued array where the states are the indices. And then you can have 0, 1. And then the values inside are other states. And then you just go to the row you want to see what next state you're in. And then you set that to the current state. And then you check if it's in the final state. It's, it's not too hard a problem. So you can do it. You can write a program. You can do it with matrix algebra, can't you? Yeah. Oh, hmm. Yes, yes, you can do that, but that's a little tricky. I mean, it's you're kind of implying that 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 it's obvious and it's true you can do it, and I'm not sure everybody would immediately see that that's true. You can you can you can change it to a matrix algebra problem, which is also computable. Uh, okay, here's another one: uh, two finite state machines. Are they equal? So here's the membership question. This is the equality question. I give you two finite state machines. I want to know if they accept the same language. Do they accept the same language? Do they accept exactly the same strings and reject the same strings? How do you do it? Minimize. See? It? Minimize them both. OK, so I got two machines now. They're minimized. Now how do I decide if they're the same? OK, so uh, I, 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 you just look at it, right, right, right. So here, okay, I minimize them both. So here's one machine. Uh, this is labeled, uh, these are being input to computers. So the states have some kind of ordering. I'll order the states. This is called state uh, 1, state 2, state 3. And here's another machine called state 1, state 2. State 3. Forget about the zeros and ones for now. Let's assume they're just here. 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Doesn't matter. They're the same. If you compare these directly in order, 1 to 1, you'll get a match. 2 to 2, you won't get a match. You'll say, oh, gee, this is not a final state. This is a final state. And if you just naively compare